Jigwit there. This is Hethlin, Skylar, Sky, or Heather, either one. Um, well, kind of getting my emo look. Not emo, what the fuck? Mm. Um, goth, I suppose you could say. I haven't gone shopping yet, but I will, trust me. Because thanks to the Victoria, I would be like, super gothic with the corset and everything. <laughs> Boondock Saints, gotta show my love, I mean, some way or another. Huh. Well, I'm a writer. I'm kind of obsessed with the Titanic and the James Gang, so um, I rewrite things a lot, and I really get all my thoughts on papers because they always change, and I get inspired by stuff and I get influenced. I mean, it's like super crazy. But um, I'm about to read one to you. Well, this was originally for the James Gang, but then I decided it would be better for the Titanic. Kind of fits the thing. So if I Mess up a little bit because I'm trying to change it. So it's kind of long, but close your eyes and I think in the Irish parts I'll say in Irish. So if you haven't heard, wait, nah. <laughs> no, my face looked crazy. Okay, the girl who tamed the heart of Robert Ford. No, that's not it. Wait, okay, that's a Jesse James story, but here's a Titanic story. If you haven't heard the story of the Titanic or its mysterious, nah. or its. What, what chaotic sinking in in the nineteen in nineteen twelve? Then I wouldn't be surprised. Like many stories, they disappear. Some know the story more widely than others. Some collect the artifacts or do the tours by seeing to the bottom of the um, Atlantic Sea. But some stories just show up, and when that happens, you have nothing better to do to tell it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Skylar O'Connor grew up in Dublin, Ireland. Wait. Nah. She was poor like many others. Her parents labored in the fields to feed her and her five other siblings, being labored into working until her fingers bled and ached just for a pound of beef. When, when she aged, her lusting features sprung from under a rug, and she was known the fair-haired Van woman of the clover fields. Many suitors came to ask her hand in marriage, but doubtfully she always whispered in a convincing voice, we shall see what a god says, and send the men off. She enjoyed sitting in the old barn, watching the dust fly about, hearing the shepherd dog bark, and she would daydream for hours. The life was the life she was living was growing boring. Her parents looked at her as a prophet, just waiting for the right man to come around. This angered her at night, and she came up with schemes to become an Irish gypsy and be a medium traveling throughout the northern part of Ireland. By eighteen, she, she grew bored with the green field. Her youngest siblings grew up. She found herself become idle with the biggest things. Finally, she decided to leave. It was March third. Something. Mm. Trying to think what it would be because this is the Jesse James one. Ah, sorry. Um, 1894. When she crept up on her father, who worked in the potato field to the left of their farm. Father, Skylar said in her weakest voice. The starchy man turned around, showing his enlarged cheekbones, his dark hair dripping with sweat, and he looked over at his second oldest child. Hey, you'll wear that dress when the men come around, not in the fields. Have you lost your wee mind? He yelled sharply at her with his heavy Irish accent seeking through. They locked eyes for a second, as Skylar counted, continued. Father, every father, everyone is going to America. They say the famine will be coming soon, and... Wait, 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 okay. And the black and tans are leaving us with nothing. We need to get out here. Take mother and the others before it gets worse than it is now. She finished. She watched her father's emotion change, and she could feel her heart sink. Those th those British aren't kicking us out of our country. We are getting the, the money we need to keep our sucking air. If you want to change the way you live, then marry one of the men from the city, He, her father replied, standing up and wiping the dust from his hands. Skylar knew when her father was upset about the British. He would yell so loud the whole town could hear him. It was tense then. The British Empire was starting to settle all around, and Skylar's father liked it or not. He could see Ireland becoming not another part of the British Empire. Okay, and that's all I got. I'm not done with it. I'm sorry for all, like, no, 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 all the mistakes and everything. Hope you like it.